Thank you for calling WBTV. This is Pam. How can I help you? Been here at WBTV for 12 years. Uh, last four as news director. Uh, come over here. So this is my kingdom, as far as the eye can see. And uh, ooh, ooh, uh, yeah, Pam. Pam Beasley over here. Pam. Pam has been with us for forever. Right, Pam? Well, I don't know. I don't know why I've stayed here for so long. I heard this new technology that will automatically transfer calls. That's not good for me. I could lose my job. If I did, maybe I might be able to get a job at a real station. I mean, it's not a girl's dream to be a receptionist for a high school TV class. All right, and over here we have our one and only Jim Halpern. Jim is one of our reporters. My job is to talk to people in the community over the phone about um, interviews and why they may have murdered that child. You know, normal stuff. Or they want to do an interview over the phone or in person. I'm just boring myself talking about this. Michael? This is Ryan. He was sent over from study hall to help. Yeah, I'm Ryan. Mrs. McCloskey said I needed more to do. Oh, <laughs> Ryan, like, like saving Private Ryan? Like, oh, we gotta, we gotta find you, Ryan. Oh, Pam. It's a guy thing, Pam. Oh, oh let's keep let's the crew. So, should I do the story about the fashion show or the sexiest man in advance? Why are you asking me? Aren't you a producer? To tell you the truth, I have no idea what I do around here. I show up, I look busy, I sometimes answer the phone. Producer. What the heck does a producer even do? I love Jim Stad Creed. He's so sexy in a grandpa sort of way. Oh, uh, Creed is not Jim's dad. Oh, well, he's still so sexy like a PB and J. All right, uh, watch out for this guy, Dwight Schrute, in the newsroom. This is Ryan, the new town. What's up? Nice to meet you. Introduce yourself. Be, be polite. Dwight Shrew, assistant news director. Ah, okay, assistant to the news director. Uh, why don't you tell them about your podcast? Well, I, I just started it. You know, bought a bought a mic and computer off of eBay, all fixed up. Just added two followers yesterday. That's a really big game. Well, I knew my viewers would love a feature from Joe Rogan. We got a lot of good stuff about reptiles. And back here we have our podcasting group. Say hello to Stanley. Stanley is black, uh, not white. Not that that matters, because we don't see color here. Stanley is one of our oldest employees. He actually got a letter to go to jury duty. Not that he wants to go, because, I mean, he loves his job so much, right? Okay. Um, if you don't want to go, just say you don't like white people. Awkward. He's very civic-minded. I've been trying to get on jury duty every year since I was 18 years old. To get to go sit in an air-conditioned room, downtown, and my lunch is paid for. That's the life. And this is Angela. She's been with us for five years. She loves cats, probably more than people. Too bad, though, because she's a tasty treat. That's really inappropriate. If you pray enough, you can become a cat person. No. You shouldn't look at cats for many, many reasons. It gets cat hair all stuck in your tongue, and it's like licking a roadkill mic, but 20 times worse. And here's Kevin. Kevin is in charge of all the commercials you see here on WBTV. Angela's cats are cute. They're so cute, I just want to eat them. But you can't eat cats? No, you can't eat cats, Kevin. Idiot. You know who's really funny? That, that bird at the park that, that don't fly right. I, I pay to see him, but the park is free. And finally, we have Oscar. Oscar here is our resident gay person, and not the happy kind. I'm not gay. I'm just very fashionable and enjoy a nice bath and a good Taylor Swift album. Okay. I was going to quit once when Michael repeatedly made fun of me for reading Cosmo on my break, but corporate offered me a three-month paid vacation and a company car. All I had to do was sign something saying that I wouldn't sue them. Kids, sometimes it pays to be gay. Our gang, yeah. 20 minutes till the first run through. Chop, chop, homies. Oh my god. What is that? Is that is that a joint? It's not mine. Yeah, I know it's not yours, Kevin. You would have eaten it. That's probably why you're hungry all the time, anyways. Oh my god, is there really drugs in the workplace?
Drugs at a TV station is a violation of FCC guidelines. Michael, you must fire Oscar and or Stanley immediately. Why us? Yes. Okay, Doy, I think we know the answer to that. Uh, okay, no, that's, that's ridiculous. It's clearly uh, Roy from the cleaning crew. Listen up. Someone has violated a rule on page 33 of the newsroom handbook. No drugs allowed in the studio. Let's go over some of the symptoms of marijuana use. You tell me who this sounds like. Slow moving, dull, inattentive, constantly snacking, lack of motivation. Right. <laughs> Michael, this is important. I'm a volunteer. Hall monitor, someone has to get to the bottom of this crime! Michael just figured out how to talk on the god mic. He can't stop doing it. I like to read the joke column because it makes me laugh. What's your favorite column to read? I like to read the global column because it's been talking about China a lot recently. Ooh, we got E! We want April! Mao Zedong! Xi Jinping! I still want April, please! Michael has this thing where he turns into a fictional character named Ping. Ping is a Chinese man that loves egg rolls. Being a volunteer hall monitor is a job I take very seriously. If there was no law and order, it'd be just like we're in Portland, Oregon. <coughs> Phyllis, have you ever been on a stakeout before? Pay attention. No, Dwight, but I, my favorite TV show is Hot Hawaii Five-0. Does that count? Phyllis, you idiot. You make Kevin sound like a genius. Oh, Phyllis, look, there's, there's our target. There's more! There's more! Oh, oh, get on the ground! Get on oh, the ground! Get you have violated the no-drug policy in the newsroom handbook. You have the right to remain no silent. No drug. Anything and everything you say can and will be used against you in a court of law. You have the right to an attorney. If you cannot provide your own attorney, the state will for you. See, boys and girls, crime doesn't pay. Are you sad that Dwight arrested your boyfriend? A little. I never thought he was into that. I'm sorry. Are you ready to go? Do you want me to walk you out? Thanks. Hey, do you really think that was Roy's joint? Uh, probably not. I'm just happy we have Dwight to keep us safe. What?